So I'm going to show you how you can start to use layers to make your diagrams interactive. So now that you have your base layer set up, you will see that everything is here as an individual shape or a line or connector. Uh, there could be individual text, et cetera, et cetera. And everything is built on the page layer, which is just this bottom one here. And that's basically what your base layer looks like. Anytime we make a, an action or a hotspot, which is what makes the diagram interactive, it, it can control to either toggle on or off a different layer, or it can hide and show a combination of different layers. So you can see here, I've already got different layers create, created, but they're all uh, hidden, so there's no visibility on them. So if I was to turn them all on, we can see what kind of stuff is going on here. Pretty straightforward. But let's get into actually building layers and making them interactive. So the number one thing that I will suggest in the very beginning is to have your base, including everything that you would like to be static on the page. Even if it's going to change color or if it's going to change the text, keep it there as static so that it can always be visible kind of on the background. The way layers works is essentially that they're transparent layers over one another. If you've ever used something like Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop, very similar, uh, and the shapes are going to be your different components. So if I want to create a new layer, and let's say I want this layer to be information, then I will start to see one thing that I notice is now that I've got this layer highlighted, it is now grayed out anything that's not on this layer, but I can still see it because it's telling me obviously that it will be visible when the layers are activated at, uh, and such. So um, to be kind of unique with the way you make buttons or interactable shapes, the way I suggest doing it is going onto the page, clicking and, and choosing the shapes or the lines, anything that you want to be visible on that new layer that you want to make some changes to. So for example, if I want this shape here to change colors when I click on it and also populate some information about what is the right step, I will come to the page or the base layer, select this and copy it. Now, if you want to do multiple, obviously you can do your multiple select and shift click and whatnot. But I select it, I do the copy command, I come back to my new layer for information, I paste, now you see I've got it on this layer as well. So what it's doing is basically creating a new shape, but I'm just gonna line it up with where that base layer has it placed. And now I can do whatever I want to change. Uh, so let's say I want the fill to be a color, and I also would like to add other shapes. Um, so this is going to be a shape here. I'm going to delete kind of that basic text input there, create a no custom text that I'll put over it. I'll, I'll size adjust it, place it where I would like it to show up. And keep in mind, everything on the background is still going to be visible. So you can also leverage different shapes or like blank spaces to kind of cover things. And another thing to notice on layers is that if I drag this over, it's going to cover it. You can arrange shapes uh, and text options by just clicking the right click and then find the range. You could bring forward, bring item forward. Uh, if you've got multiple layers and you want something to be on the top. So let's say I just want this to be all the way in the back. I'm gonna send item backwards or just send to back, which is the bottom layer. Basically it's a background now. So I can do this and then I will create a box. I've got my text function here. Let's say I wanna center it. I'm going to fill in the space here and I would like to input some information about what right stab is. So however you would like to do that, you know, you just come in here, type your text. Let's say I just want to actually insert, um, I think I can insert a bunch of random text. There we go. Filled it up. I want a header for it so it's nice and neat. So put another one, say information about right step. Uh, I can then format them separately, do some changes here. You know, maybe I want to line it up, whatever the case. I want to change the font style to be more head, header-like or you know, information captivating. 
Okay, so now that this layer is built, this is basically what I want to be populated. This is what's going to show when I click on that right stab from the base layer. So I'll go ahead and hide this. Go back to my base layer. Click on the original space that I want to become an action. Um, and the quick way to do this is to find the lightning bolt where it says actions, or I guess you could do Command K or Control K if you're on the Windows. Click on that. You're going to see a couple different options here. So you can make it a link to a separate email or a link for a different website. You can have it also go to different pages. So you can see down here I've got different pages. So this can act as you know just an action that takes you somewhere or does something. Uh, there's also other integrations for the Lucitar documents. But we're going to do from the layers perspective here. So I'm going to make this a toggle feature. So I would like for it to toggle. And now what we see is our different pages, so layers on shapes demo, which is the name of the page down here. And then we also see that it's got uh, the other layer pages. And within each page, there's going to be options to click in the layers that you would like to show. So for this case, we're working on the layers demo page. So I'm going to find that. Uh, this is called the information uh, layer. So uh, that's, well, I'm sorry, this is the one that we're wanting to, to basically toggle on and off with this. Now toggle just means that you can click it on and it stays on and you have to click it again to take it off. There's a different way to make it so that it's kind of restricted and that would be to use the show feature. So for this, I'm going to show you, we'll use show I'm going to find my information option there. So whenever I click this, the action is going to show me this layer. It's basically going to make it visible. But I also want to make sure that it's not overlapping other layers. So what I'll do is make sure that it hides all of the other layers that I have on this page. And I will just go through them all. Actually, I'm sorry, this is not the correct page. I go through them all. I want to hide all of them except for the information. So what this now does is if I go ahead and click out of this, I can do my shift command, shift control. I can see all the hot spots or the action areas that are in the green here. And if I click on it, it performs that action that I wanted it to do. So this is great. But now if I click on it again, you can notice it's not turning off. That's because I now also need to add the same action on the information layer for the same shape if that's where I would like the action to be. You could also put a little you know, X icon if you wanted it to be more like a website that's clicking out of a window. That's another option. So instead of showing you what we've already done, I'll show you how to do that specifically. So a quick way to do that, I'm gonna go ahead here and use an icon. So you can use icons that'll automatically populate on a shape. You can see here, I want it to be an X. And now you can start to see, okay, it's gonna be showing me the placement so I'm clicking on this and I also would like to move that. So I have the options to where it wants to go on the shape. So maybe I want to bring it in a little bit. Maybe I want to put it out more. I'm going to say I'll bring it in here. Maybe I'll actually, let's see, what are the options here? Nope. Okay. The best place I'm suggesting is here for me. Okay. There we go. Now, this isn't necessarily something that you can click on to make an action, but what you can do is create a hotspot. So if you come over here, um, I believe there is the standard kind of already s chosen here. So you can drag this and you'll see now it's already telling you, you know, how do you want this action to perform or what do you want to perform? But I'll come back so I can kind of uh, show this to be a little bit more isolated. So it's not just clicking blank space to make an action happen. So I'm going to go ahead and just create a little box on this X. Now for my options. I'm going to go back to layers and what it's going to do here, it is going to hide everything. So again, if you wanted to do a toggle feature, you could, because also thinking about it this way, if I was to just make this a toggle, it's pretty much always going to toggle it off because it's already toggled on when we're looking at this. So it's only visible when it's toggled on. So if I use the toggle feature, it'll also just act as what I wanted to do instead of having to configure show and hides. So let's go ahead and just do a little test here. We come back to the page layer. I'm going to hide this layer. Come back here. Go back to the page zoom. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. 
Cool, it shows me what I want. It highlights the shape to blue and now I can also do a little double click here. And okay, so something's not right there. Let's see, gotta make sure. Figure out what's going on here. So it's good live troubleshooting. So I think happens is we're not isolating the layers and now if I do it, it's not working. Okay, so great example of where it doesn't work so instead of this, we're going to change the action to now be, oh, actually, maybe that's the reason why it's not toggling anything. Make sure to hit done. There we go. So back to the page there. Boom, boom, boom. It's working. Now, if you want to see this, what it would look like in the shareable, non-editable version, you can go ahead and just publish this or embed it. If you publish it, you are going to get a link here. Click that link. Now it's going to take you over to kind of that shared view which is a view only so your students or whoever you want to see this is going to see this uh, version of it so now i've got the pages like they can still select between different pages but they see this here so if i click on it now obviously that didn't do anything right so go ahead do this that that so actually that's a great another piece here is if i click on this and click on it again of course it's not doing anything but as you can see i've already configured other things and yep that's how to use layers. Hopefully that's helpful.